Hello my dear friends, welcome back to this class. This is Jayashree. I hope every one of you is fine staying at home. Please stay at home, be safe, be healthy. Today I am going to share a little experience of mine. I used to have a 5 year old girl living beside my house. And I often heard her mother ask this girl one question. The question is often repeated. The question is, who is your favorite? Is it your mother or father? The girl, for her age, she is quite smart and she used to change her answers depending upon her needs, what she needs and from whom she needs. Sometimes she used to say mother and sometimes she used to say father. I said the little girl is too clever. So today now I am going to ask you one question. Don't worry, I am not going to ask you the same question because you are too old to be asked that question. My question to all of you is, do you feel you know your parents better now than when you were much younger? When you were much younger, you might not have understood the reasons of your parents' actions. But now, since you are older, you might understand the reasons behind your parents' actions. You might understand your parents better now than when you were much younger, right? So today, I am going to tell you a story where a little girl understands her father. She, she has a lot of fear towards her father. But later on, she is able to understand what her father truly is. The story title is The Little Girl and it was written by Catherine Mansfield. Today, we are going to learn this story, The Little Girl. So how her feelings towards her father changed over time, let's understand that. Before we go into this story, before we go into this lesson, I have made a slide. I want you to have a look at that and I am not going to read it out or I am not going to explain anything about that. I simply show that to you and please take your time, pause the video and have a look at it. Read it and try to understand and appreciate the beautiful relationship between the father and the daughter. Here it comes. I hope you have read by now. If not, pause the video and then read and understand and appreciate the beautiful relationship that is shared by Doctor and father. Let's get started with our beautiful lesson, the little girl. The little girl was quite afraid of her father. Every day before the father goes to office, he used to come to this little girl. Her name is Kezia. Her name is Kezia. He used to come to the little girl and he gives her a casual kiss and then he leaves for office. Yes, he leaves. Kezia feels relieved because she is truly afraid of her father. That's why when her father leaves for office, she feels relieved. Then, in the evening, he comes back home and then he says like this. Bring my tea into the drawing room. Hasn't the papa come yet? Mother? Go and see if, the, if my paper is out there and bring me my slippers. Father says so. Hearing his loud voice, she gets frightened and st she stands on the staircase listening to her father. Then mother would call her. Kizia, if you are a good girl, you can come down and take off father's boots. Mother calls her. Then slowly the girl would slip down the stairs. More slowly still across the hall. She walks very slowly towards her father. And then she push open the drawing room door. Then his father puts on his spectacles and looked at her over them. And that really frightens her. The girl who is already afraid is really frightened now. Well, Kezia, hurry up. Pull off his boots and take them outside. Have you been a good girl today? 
father asks the little girl then the little girl i the, the, don't know father this makes father very angry because the girl is stuttering what did the father say now father said you don't know if you stutter like that mother will have to take you to the doctor father says that by the way what do you mean by stutter do you know what it means stutter means talk with continued involuntary repetition of sounds especially initial consonants so when somebody stutters they repeat the initial consonants of the words involuntarily then father says what's the matter what what are you looking so wretched about mother i wish you told this child not to appear on the brink of suicide here kezia carry my teacup back to the table carefully father says so. this girl who is really frightened of her father looks so unhappy that's why father is asking like this why why do you look so unhappy and why do you always appear like as if you are going to commit suicide mother please teach her not to appear like this he is asking his mother let's move on what happened then when she looks at for at her father she thinks that he is very big he was so big his hands his neck especially his mouth when he yawned oh my god thinking about him alone was like thinking about a giant huge figure for this little girl what happens you know generally on sunday afternoons uh, grandmother would send kezia to have a nice little chat with father and mother she comes to talk with father and mother but by the time she reaches them her mother is busy reading the newspaper and father lies down on the sofa with a handkerchief on his face sleeping soundly and he is even snoring there and he puts his legs on a, one of the finest cushions in the house that's the scene by the time kezia goes to talk to them whom does she talk with now she does not talk with any of them she she sat on a stool gravely watched him until he woke and stretched and asked the time then looked at her he wakes up and then he stretches his body and then he asks for time what's the time now this little girl would sit near him and uh, she used to stare at him like that with a fixed look then he says don't stare so kezia you look like a little brown owl don't look at me like that you look like a little brown owl he says so one day what happens is uh, she has cold so she was kept indoors with cold uh, then her grandmother suggested her to do something because next week kezia's father's birthday so kezia's grandmother suggested kezia to make a gift for her father that is pin cushion why don't you make a pin cushion as a gift for your father for his birthday she said so then little girl with a lot of effort with a double cotton she stitched three sides of the cushion and then she did not know what to fill the cushion with she looked for some scraps you know scraps means small pieces of cloth or paper etc that are actually not needed like waste so she was looking for something to fill the cushion with but actually she could not find anything and she wanted to ask her grandmother but at that time grandmother grandmother was in the garden so she herself started to search for that and she went to her mother's bedroom and there she saw some fine sheet of paper on the bed so then immediately she collected all those papers and she tore them into tiny pieces and she filled the cushion with that tiny pieces of paper and with great effort 
she stitched the final fourth side the girl has made a beautiful cushion for her father's birthday and the girl is very happy so with that i am going to end this video now and in our next video class we try to understand what happens next will the father be happy to receive the pin cushion or what happens in the house we will learn in our next class